everyone. With your CIG TV News Update, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us as always. Well, today marks the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and also the first day of the global 16 Days of Activism Against Gender Violence campaign. That runs through the 10th of December. International Human Rights Day to reaffirm that women's rights are human rights as well, and it all marks today. Though we are mainly known for tropical weather and beautiful beaches, the Caribbean is also one of the most violent regions in the world and experiences a deplorable level of violence against women and girls. Here in the Cayman Islands, we are not spared the evils of gender-based violence, which by definition includes rape, sexual assault, domestic violence, trafficking in women, forced prostitution, sexual harassment, and harmful cultural practices. And you can watch the entire message from Minister Rivers only here on CIG TV tonight at 8 o'clock. Meantime, Minister of Health, the Honorable Osborne Bodden, and Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Kiran Kumar, attended the 13th AGM of the Pan-Caribbean Partnership Against HIV and AIDS in Guadeloupe earlier this month. The two-day meetings focused on positioning the partnership for post-2015. Officials also highlighted a 49% decline in HIV within the Caribbean and an improved quality of life for people living with HIV and AIDS. Minister Bodden says the meeting offered an opportunity to share experiences with regional counterparts in order to improve combined efforts. He also says he's delighted to learn that local prevalence is very low compared to other countries in the region. He commends Public Health, the Cayman AIDS Foundation, and the Red Cross for their efforts. In other health news, Dr. Kiran Kumar has issued a travel advisory urging residents traveling to Pakistan to ensure that their immunizations against polio are up to date. This comes after reports of the continued spread of three cases of polio from Pakistan to Afghanistan since July this year. Dr. Kumar says although our immunization coverage against polio ranges from 95% to 99% at school entry, He's urging residents who must travel to Pakistan to ensure that 4 to 12 weeks before travel to receive a dose of the inactivated polio virus vaccine. For more details on how you can get that vaccine, if you intend to travel to Pakistan, you can contact the Public Health Department on 244-2648. That's 244-2648. Well, staff from the National Workforce Development Agency continues to visit districts in an effort to provide improved customer service to its clients in their job-seeking efforts. Now, those who attend the sessions with the National Workforce Development Agency will have the chance to outline and register online, rather, with the NWDA, the chance to also search the online job portal and self-referring for jobs, be given assistance with preparing their resumes and assistance with preparing for an interview. For more details as well, you can give them a call at 945-3114. That's 945-3114. If you missed today's news update, as always, you can get the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Also, you can watch CIG TV throughout the night. And we invite you to tune into Radio Commands for the record and talk today's shows. That's week mornings and weekdays. For now, I'm Donna Bush, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and safe night, and bye-bye for now.